Planet ESA confirmed. Departing high density space at 1203. Set the coordinates to T50321. Oh, PST version. Roger. Putting ESA on screen. Something's wrong with the gravitational readings. There's a giant energy wave approaching us, sir, at high speed. The magnitude is 40.3 quadrillion joules, sir. Xander and I have beat this game before, so. I just don't remember right jack shit about it. Look alive, people. Three, two, one. Here it comes. Activate anti shock. Raise defense shield. SD-346, an unknown power threatens to hurl us into a new age of civilization. Is it the will of the gods, or just the whimsy of fate? Whatever it is, the human race continues to advance into the great unknown, into what they call the Star Ocean. Yeah, I mean, this game is, like, similar enough to two that I should be fine. Just jump into it. Ah, <sighs> man, I'm bored. Hey, that's a good thing. It means all's well. What about Millie? What do you really think about her anyway? Hmm? What do you mean? Uh, let me give you a friendly warning. That girl's a total scatterbrain. She doesn't listen to anyone. <gasps> She's just a total na- Ugh. Uh, Millie! Listen, I, uh, meant- <laughs> You jerk! Yeah. If you've got time to complain about me, you've got time to work! There's nothing to do around here, Millie. Why don't you go out on a patrol, then? Come on, I'll join you. We can all do it together. Oh, all right. Roddick, you come with us, too. It's settled, then. We'll all go together. This voice acting. Hey, people give four crap. Such an early resurrection elixir. Okay, first thing I'm doing is just casual, so... Hey, Nitrodon! I'm pretty good.
for a special sparkle magic. This is the PSP remake. Yeah, it's the remake on the SL2 engine. need to play the Famicom version sometime. I don't want to keep patrolling here. I said I don't want to. I think I remember the next trigger. I think we should just go back up here. Oh. Yeah, it is. What the? Ah, bandits! Coming here in broad daylight. We've got to help them. Hurry. Let's go! Here they come! Hang in there, everyone! Sleep is good. This music, man. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Ray, you're in my way. That, that one was way easy. too fast. What? There was another bandit. Yay, more bandits, more bandits, more bandits. Let's kill all the bandits. Kill all the bandits. We. We have company. Here they come! Yeah, I don't have any skills yet. Darn, you are useless. Oh my gosh. That one was easy. I'm getting hit. I do love your victory pose, though. Shake my tail. They're putting up more of a fight than we figured, boss. Pathetic. Letting a couple of brats step all over us? Just wait till I show them! We aren't just any brats, I'll have you know. We're the official town <laughs> defense force! God. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is just gonna crack me up. <laughs> 
because we're not about to let force some much shit for the voice acting. And just losers. hearing this, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, the whole series is bad. Her voices. Yeah, you guys wouldn't last two minutes in a fight. No! I have a stream in my other headphones. Let's get him, boss! This looks bad. We got trouble! I need it! Thorn, you are useless. I'm like, ow! Oh, that Wish one was they easy. Lasted longer. All right. Aww, I didn't get the rare draw. Reset. <laughs> that bandit leader has like a really, really rare draw. Thanks so lot, for guys. like, I think it's like seventy thousand gold or something. Just doing our job, sir. Ooh, <laughs> how suave of you. I've played this game, yeah. It's just been... I haven't played it since it was released. So... Because what, 2007? I need some tea for you. It was on the... I think it was the 15th anniversary of Star Ocean. I think. The 10th or something. I think it was actually on the 10th. So I think it was 2007. I don't remember. Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy. <laughs> Those bandits hardly even put up a fight. What are you talking about? That was a pretty close call and you know it. Something wrong, Roddick? You look a little off. <laughs> yeah, Dorn is so useless. Oh, he's just been moping around all the time lately. The best thing about him is his victory pose. Shake that tail. Well, see you later. Yeah. Hope you feel better tomorrow, Roddick. Thanks again, ma'am. Oh, certainly. Come back anytime. Being bored's a good thing, huh? Hi, PSX! Oh, 
I thought you were still sleeping. Did you have trouble falling asleep? I thought you were still sleeping. That's why he was standing, staring out the window. No, I'm fine. Are you sure? You've been acting kind of strange lately. I don't want Millie and Dorn having to worry about you. Just breathe. It's a Star Ocean Let's game. Stop worrying so much, Mom. I'll be back later. The voice acting is not gonna be good. <laughs> Place. Good morning, Roddick. Dorn already went inside. Hey, Roddick. The captain's waiting for you. Ah, there you are, Roddick. At least Star Ocean games have good gameplay. <laughs> to, business, <laughs> to make it for you their translation out here yesterday. Repelling a bad and warlord their voice with actors. only the three of you, they tell me. The townspeople wanted me to give this to you. Here, take it. Yay! Five blueberries! And that's why he's cut the pork! What the? Yay! This is Roddy's favorite food! It came from a fan of Roddick's. Uh, that's all I know. Such an amazing reward for killing bandits! <laughs> well, regardless, keep up the good work, all of you. It's not like we get stuff like we had yesterday very often. This town would be perfectly safe even if we sat on our tails all day. Dorn, knock it off. <laughs> it's Meryl, you just described Star Ocean 3 in a nutshell. <laughs> Especially that point. That SO3 plot twist. Okay, I was checking things. You know, I need to stop talking to this chat. <laughs> um, where was I supposed to go? <laughs> I don't remember. Can you run? That just leaves town. Not where I want to go. So yeah, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go now. Go to like no, not the next town. Uh, no, Dorn's house. Uh, I don't think so. Shoot, I don't remember where to go. Blackberry thing again, or that. Hmm. 
fresh shipment thing again. Alright, this is an FF8. Hang in there, everyone. That one was easy. Over? Two hundred full. Okay, that leads to the mountain. We don't need to go there yet. I remember that that much. Check. Uh... Pfft, of course. Okay. Oh, I got nimble fingers. That's good to know. Same in try for, and I got it. Nothing here. Okay. No, shiny, shiny, shiny. Yeah, I wrote it. It was worth it. <laughs> totally worth it, man. Okay, so it's clearly not that way. to the headquarters. I've officially gotten lost. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did it. You called for us, sir? Ah, Roddick. Good to see you here. We've got trouble. Take a look at this. A letter came in earlier. Send help immediately. Mystery outbreak in Cool Village. Resuffering from high fever. Village. Mayor, Cool Village. I was just there. They're fine. So what do we do? 
We go help them out. That's what. The herbs that grow on the peak of Mount Matarks ought to do the trick. Wait! Father! Leave this matter to me. Matarks, will you go on our behalf? Yes, I don't think we have much to worry about with this mystery outbreak. Oh yeah, nothing to worry well, about at all. Nothing bad is going to happen, right? On the job, it'd be a tremendous relief to all you might have heard it in SL4, Meryl. <laughs> I'll be back in a little while, alright? does play in SL4. Stay away from Mount Maytox. It's too dangerous for you. Well, I'm off. <laughs> Have a good night. Yes, sir. We'll let you know <laughs> if anything's up. But yeah, since you got a rogue on SL4, in you got a rogue in SL4, it plays while you're in the villages. So, come on, guys, lighten up a bit. Millie, I know how you feel, but Roddick, you've been acting weird lately. What's wrong? You can tell. <sighs> Two days later. Father still hasn't come back. I've got to find him. You're not going, all right? He said he'd call us if he needed us. But, but I can't just sit around and wait anymore. Roddick! Yes, we were conveniently arguing outside of Roddick's house. No problem. What's it say? A powerful disease has struck cool. My methods are powerless against it, and even Not worse. Not cool, I'm afraid I've contracted the disease myself. <laughs> Casual skin Sorry, I'm not gonna is enough to spread the illness. <laughs> It incubates for about an hour, but after it develops, the infected turn into stone in about three days' time. There is no hope for Cool. Do not approach no. it under any circumstances. Oh. Martoth, Cliet. Millie, wait! She's gonna head for Cool all by herself. We've gotta stop her. Cannot take game seriously right now. <laughs> hey, Red. Most useless area ever. Oh wait, What's we wrong, need it for storyline, never mind. Nothing. It's nothing. It's going pretty good. Oh god, we're Look so out. dead. Especially because Dorn is an idiot. That one was way too fast. All right. Seasick on this bridge. There's Millie. After her. But this bridge is okay. 
It was just that one particular bridge. Whoops, that. Don't touch me. No, not the kids who are waiting for their father. Stay away from me. No matter what you do, don't touch me. Father. I am done for, Millie. He suddenly sounds like the captain. <laughs> and you won't let me sit by your side, Father? Oh, look, suddenly bought. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think those kids will need their lunch anymore. It's alright if you take it. Damn it, folks. I'm gonna actually have to use the dashboards for our chat now. How can something like this happen? Radic, Dawn. Can you take my daughter back it's to the It's not like said Dawn. Not Dorn. Dawn. I should rename him that. Can I rename him? I want to rename him Dawn. Millie, let's go. Millie. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Wait. I want to rename Dorn. It must be named Dawn. Dorn? I swear I heard. I heard. <laughs> Planning to go off by yourself? Uh. You're going to pick some herbs off the peak of Mount Matorx, aren't you? Doesn't take a genius to see what you're thinking. But listen, you can't go into that hornet's nest. Not by yourself. <sighs> I'm sorry. Come on, quit pouting. Huh? It'll be okay. Your dad'll be fine once we get those herbs. Yeah. But... This is terrible. I can't stand seeing you sad like this. Dorn? Millie, I want you to know something. I... I... Shoot, I can't rename uh... him now because... Oh, I... Crap. I can't rename him now. No! Damn it. Mm, oh well, no, he shall sorry. be Dorn. I'm fine. It but you're well, I guess I can. Hold tight just a minute. I'll go find someone. I think I can. No, I can't. Rodic, Dorn just collapsed. <laughs> Reset. Uh, every time something comes up, what's the first thing out of her mouth? Rodic. Rodic. Come with me. Dorn's in trouble. Right. Let's go. Oh, I can't remember the name them. Of course, if I want to rename Millie, I have to do it sooner. <laughs> Later, Meryl. Are you alright? Huh? What do you mean? You... But... I just saw you... Stop jumping to conclusions. I was just a little lightheaded, that's all. I told you... Roddick, don't you think we ought to go pick some herbs at the peak of Mount Matorx? Oh, uh, yeah. I need to stop hitting X too Matorx soon. Matorx lies due north of Cool. We'll need to watch ourselves. Uh, this version is on PSP. It was originally on the Famicom, though. You said it. That's Velworm territory up there. This is the remake based off the Star Ocean Chief engine. I can rename him! Yes! I think. Can I? 
knees. No! I can't rename Dorn. He shall be renamed in our hearts. Great night effect, guys. Let's just turn it black. Alright. Useless green. Useless green done. <laughs> Dep does he seriously? I wasn't paying attention. Does he have the Brock face? He does have the Brock face! Oh my gosh. Okay, every single time I had an encounter here. What this. the hell? We got trouble. Wow, these guys are tougher. Should take four hits to die. That's four product hits. Alright. Oh, Why I have Shockwave Swirl now. Okay, it's old guys turn to stone now. Aw, old guys turn to stone. Oh, hi, Spud. I'm doing this to pass time till the race. We can still do the race. I'll probably jump back on this after the race if I'm still awake. <laughs> One man race. Let's go. Oh god. Bunnies! They're mini bunnies, what the heck? Oh god. Bunnies totally fuck with the AI on this game. Shockwave swirl! That was way too fast. Right. Anything that jumps screws with AI. I'm gonna jump and completely miss the enemy. Possibly. Anime guy face, anime girl face, same thing, but with bigger eyes. And Brock face. Hi! We got trouble! I hope we can do this! So there is a way to manipulate encounters in this game. Unfortunately, it requires hardware manipulation. You have to pop open your UMD tray and you'll no get no encounters. You just have to close it again before you change areas. It's a good way to get uh, go into one of the later dungeons and grab some good gear. I think it's actually a secret dungeon. Yeah, you have to pop open the UMD tray to do it. I believe the trick works in 2 as well. On PSP, but yeah, of course. Since it requires popping up the, open the UMD tray. <laughs> Happy anime. Keep focused, everyone! Be careful, everyone! Ha! 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 Oh, Spud, did uh, Meta tell you he found that one uh, crystal fragment? That one was easy. Alright, the power's flowing in me. Fuck.
Also, hello, hamster breath! <laughs> I'm looking through some of these. By the way, Spud, there's some of your brethren in these bots. Or at least, there's been a couple potatoes spotted. Oh man, pizza buns! <laughs> Alright, so this is a decent place to grind for a bit if you want to because the healing things right this looks here. Bad. We got trouble. Yeah! Shockwave swirl! Shockwave swirl! Shockwave swirl! Yeah! Shockwave swirl! Wish they could've easy. lasted longer! <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if we get- right. if I get one of the potatoes in my chat. Also, seriously, they are making it harder to use IRC right now. <laughs> and Spud, it gets worse. Wait till you hear- Meteor Pong! Meteor Paw! Meteor Paw! <laughs> and that's all you hear. What? I'm just worried about you. You don't have to yell at me like that. <laughs> hey, me I know Meteor Palm's good, no, but it's all you hear. It's like 50 me. times louder than everything else in battle. Wait, you didn't catch the... I must have caught it when I- Oh man, lizard breath pigeon. left. <gasps> oh no! That poor pigeon! We better go back home. No, I'm fine. I haven't started turning into stone yet. I'm not stone yet, everything's okay guys, let's keep going. <laughs> I said I'm fine. Logic of video games. I'm sorry, but I'm fine, really. Don't you mean blah 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 a tiny bit, blah 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 <laughs> That's about all I know for the end game of Vesperia. Besides, those herbs will cure me anyway, right? <laughs> Just Let's tickle people death with Wilch. So yeah, that's a really nice spot right there. You want to grind? I think you can count it on the screen. Let's see here. <laughs> okay. Okay. We can do this. Okay. okay. I need to get used to stuff on Shockwave as well. So the thing with these older, with uh, Star Ocean One and Two, I believe Three does this as well. It was changed into is your skills power up based off how many times you use them. So what you really want to do is you just want to spam them to get them powered up. So I'm gonna... I don't even really need to grind, I just... I don't want to do the next story segment. Wah! What's that? Wah! Seriously? Wow, there are a lot of these still right here. Shockwave Boy, they easy. were weak. 20 XP per. Um, let's see here. Eh, I'm too far now. <sighs> right, PSP version. There's the flower that we need. The flower that we need. Really? <laughs> Seriously, people get four shit! Listen to this! Oh. I thought there wasn't supposed to be anyone here. 
There weren't any life forms here, Captain, when I scanned the area. Who are you? What do you want? Have you come here to take the herbs away from us? Where did you come from? Look, you don't have to be so... Stay where you are! Uh, so afraid. Uh... Well, that didn't work. Who are you? Where are you from? You're dressed really weird and I don't trust you! Well, you see, my name is Ronix J. Kenny. How can I explain this so it makes sense? Captain, huh? allow me. <sighs> my name's Elia Silvestri. And please, before you say anything, I want you to know that we're no, not No, your name is Meteor Palm! Uh, Meteor Palm! Okay. Before you say anything, I want to let you know that we are not your enemy. Oh, really? Really? Well, they sure aren't our friends. Not these strangers. We're here to pick some of the herbs off of this mountain, that's all. I should tell you that these herbs won't <laughs> stop anyone from turning into stone. That's kind of creepy, Mandarin. You should get that checked out. <laughs> How? Who are you? More interested in listening to us now? All right, go. I'm sure you won't believe us at first, but we've come from a place far, far away to save all of you. So why didn't you come sooner then? We can't make direct contact with civilizations in the early stages of development. It's part of the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. Early stages of development? We came here from beyond the sky, from another planet. We're making something of a special exception to the rule, you see. Oh yeah, special beyond exception. Another planet? Well, yeah. Are you gods? Yeah. No, we're not gods. We're people, just like you. Well, uh, except without the tails. I think we actually have some oh, raisin bread. Wow. There's like some bread sitting in the kitchen, and I don't know what it is, but it seems, from what I can tell, it seems like raisin bread. I just don't want to open it to find out. <laughs> On this episode of Cooking with Spud, Lazonia, he shall teach you how to make. Broke the underdeveloped <laughs> planet preservation pact recently and engaged in direct interference with this planet. As if that weren't bad enough, they also fired a biological weapon at you, releasing the contagion that spread across this whole area. So we're turning into stone, and it's because of those Lazonia guys? Correct. I can't believe this. It's a video game. To of course, you can't believe it. Try to find a treatment for it. <laughs> Instead of streaming your kitchen. <laughs> game cooking, Mama. So you see, we've come here to help you, probably <laughs> in ways you've never imagined. I still can't believe any of this, but can you really help with a cure? I can't really believe it either. But if you're able to save our friend here... If you come with us, and help us in creating a vaccine, we should be able to cure him. Vaccine? <laughs> um, a miracle medicine, sort of. Well then, 
don't use big words. Big words There's are something hard. something you ought to know before we go any further. If you folks decide to come with us, <laughs> you'll probably never see... Oh, hey, I see I can use, uh, I <laughs> see you again for a bit. I say that now, and I'm probably gonna have, like, 10 million bots to money and leave again. Why not? That's what the rules say. If you interact with us too much, we can't let you go back to your original life. That's another part of the underdeveloped planet preservation pact. Now, if you'd like, we could go our separate ways, and you could pretend this was all some kind of fever dream. There is still time for that. Well, I'm going with these guys. All I've got waiting for me here is life as a statue. You can't do that. You want me to choose between losing you forever, or losing my father and everyone else forever? Don't make me do that. No, the boss. I want you to say you're Millie, let's go with Dorn too. I'm sorry to break this to you, but there's just nothing we can do if we stay wow, here. Wow, you just sound like so emotionless. Let's go with Dorn too. I know it's hard <laughs> meeting everyone God. you know in Kratos, but we've got a bigger job ahead. We're going to save everybody. Sorry, I cannot take this voice acting seriously. Well, it's settled then. Might as well get going. Close your eyes for a moment, please. Huh? Please. Where are we? This is a Star Ocean game. You really are gods. We're not gods. We've just advanced a little sooner than you. That's all. You can have all this for yourselves too someday. <sighs> well, let's get him over to sick bay. The floor. It's moving. And that door back there opened by itself! Incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> I just realized I haven't asked any of your names yet. My name is Roddick Ferrets. I'm Millie Cleat. Dorn uh, Myrtle. Uh. Captain, his condition's deteriorating. Better hurry then. <laughs> What's this? I guess this must be surprising to you, but this is how we treat sick people. See what you can do for him, Doctor. Yes, sir. Well, no point in having you hang around here. How would you like a tour of the ship? Captain, that would be a violation of the Preservation Pact. Well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? Captain! <laughs> his condition is deteriorating! Just look at his eyes! play Sonic Racing sometime. I know you said Spud, but we need to play it sometime. For sure. Wait, I want to be the cool kid. I'm running the wrong way. I'm the wrong. Run. Wrong way. I can do it. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Thanks, Red. Elevator pad. You couldn't just call it an elevator. No, bots, I want to use IRC, please. are bad, buddy. Don't lose big words. Aw, it's an empty room. Um, rich. Rodic, why do you get off the elevator the wrong way? Make me take the long way, why don't you? you must talk to everyone. I like to say. That was a moving conversation. No. Ah. How do I talk to these guys? No, I want to talk to them. No. Are your tails real? Okay, uh, sorry. Watch out! The sensors are detecting an alien presence. Oh no, we're aliens! <laughs> oh. One of those oh, guys. Alarms! Damn it. Their eggs must have latched onto us at Mount Matorx. Let's get them, Millie. <sighs> this looks bad. Keep focused, everyone. I believe they should give like 30. Shockwave swirl! Shockwave swirl! Boy, they were weak. Fast. I was right. Isn't? See? It's right here. You can still see it? The moment your blood touched it, it disappeared. <sighs> this is where I tell you this isn't a million year long cutscene, right? Ilya, take Roddick and Millie to Sick Bay. I'll meet you there. Hey, Sister Mayor. Yes, sir. Wait, where did that come from just now? We have these things called communicators. They let us talk to people even if we're far away from each other. Anyway, the doctor wants to see us. Let's head to Sick Bay. I'll get. Is he cured? I don't know yet. <laughs> Warning! Silliness overthrow overload incoming! Warning! Riddy still cannot talk! Don't be in such a hurry there, miss. The doctor's just getting to that. Ahem. After a thorough investigation, I have isolated an animal. This doctor's voice actor, oh my god. I'm afraid curing this illness is something that's beyond the ability of Earth medical science. Oh, <laughs> you got all these amazing things! Can't you do something? Shush you! 
The advanced medical technology at my fingertips is precisely what allows me to declare that this is an impossible task, young lady. This pathogen is in a constant state of flux, mutating at a truly breathtaking speed. Even if I could make a vaccine, it would lose its effectiveness in a matter of minutes. Oh, my device is so raspy. There is Him. one possible okay. method, however. Judging by the pathogen structure, I believe this to be a naturally occurring virus. So if we could track down the host, the original carrier of the disease, we could use the host's blood to create an immunity serum. So that'll work. I mean, would that work, sir? I believe so. But he'll be turning into stone within three days. That's nowhere near enough time to find the host. Oddly enough, the body's molecular structure seems to remain perfectly intact, even after the petrification process is complete. If we could just procure that serum... Oh man, cheesy poop face. Make a full recovery. And pizza face. And pickle it. Well, that's something to work with anyway. It won't be easy, though. I doubt Lazonia is that eager to tell us where the host is. You're right. More importantly, though, I can't help but wonder why did they even just let me know when you get when you're ready to raise. Rook? Like I can just pause this since it's on PSP. The name we've given your homeworld. But Eli is right. I don't see how Lazonia benefits at all from turning everyone on Rook into stone. Never mind. Not gonna point out logic here. Doctor, are there any major differences between the anatomy of Rokians and other humanoid species on other planets? Well, let me think. Their basic organic, muscular, and nervous systems are highly similar to humans. But there is one rather striking difference. Their blood? Precisely. The structure of their blood vastly differs from our own. The most obvious point is the hemoglobin. In humans, it is iron-based, but in Rokians, it is copper-based. What are you getting at, Elia? This is just a possibility, but perhaps there is some benefit to petrifying the Rokians after all. That would explain the motive behind dropping this bioweapon on their planet. What kind of benefit? Mm, some kind of previously undiscovered matter, maybe. You mean what? A weapon? There is that possibility. In particular, I'm talking about something that's invisible. Something that wouldn't even show up on our sensors. So they're killing us off to make some kind of weapon for themselves? Well, we can't say that for sure yet. It would certainly explain a lot of things, though. If that's the case, and they must be removing the petrified bodies from Roke. Let's check that prospect out first. I'll be on the bridge. Doctor, run a simulation to see if petrifying their blood results in some sort of matter that can be used for offensive purposes. Are you sure? We're talking tens of thousands of combinations. There's no other way. We've got to find out. Yes, Very but well. just let me know when you're ready. Do I? Oh wait, no, I don't have. This is what I get for whining about how chance? boring every day was. 
What are you talking about? You know this isn't your fault. Well, I don't know. I mean, look at me. If I just had more power, me. then maybe I could have done something. Maybe people don't give one enough the crap because it's on PSP. Bridge. You can take the elevator to get there. Thank you. No, no, Rodney, other way, other way. <sighs> ah, there you are. Elia has news for you. We compared the current number of petrified bodies with our previous figures. The number's gone down by about 200,000. How did they take all of them off the planet without us noticing? So it's true. We're not yet sure if they're building a weapon. It sure is hard to imagine those bodies being used for peaceful purposes at this point. Sorry, that uh, didn't come out right. By the way, we're returning to Earth. I'm going to go through our ambassadors and get Lazonia to hand over the host. Not that I expect them to be interested in negotiating with us in good faith. I'd like all of you to come with us and participate in the reports. Captain, Dorn's condition is worsening. I'll be right there. His vital organs have begun the petrification process. Dorn. Captain, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? If I'm going to die, I want it to happen in my own bed. You're not gonna die. You'll just be asleep for a bit. But what if you can't get that serum? <sighs> Please? Get the transporter ready. Yes, sir. Please, let us go back with Dorn. I don't know. We'll come back. We promise. All right. I'll have Elia accompany you then. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I want Dorn transported directly into his bed, Doctor. This is a precision maneuver. Don't mess it up. Yes, sir. When you're ready, Ilya. Yes, Captain. Listen, there was something I wanted to give you before I go. Oh, don't say that. You'll just be sleeping for a little while. <laughs> Get the music box on that shelf for me. I'm giving that to you, Millie. But this is your sister's. I can't take this. Take it. Please. I gave that to... Boy, it's three right. days sure does pass I fast, uh huh? <laughs> I know this is hard, but we've got to go. He needs your help. Right. We'll be beginning our trip to planet Earth shortly. There's a room set up for you, so 
Feel free to get some rest. Oh man, it's Waffle Elbow. We're serene. Thank you. Setting course for Sector Theta, point zero zero one, mark two six nine, warp six. <laughs> you now take Dorn's lunch money. Look, Millie. I took his music box. That's his lunch money. That's all he had left. He was gonna have to sell that Beautiful. next to get money for lunch. It's like an ocean of stars. My head is going to hurt We're now entering before we orbit start this. To report to the Terran Alliance HQ. Something's coming right for us. What? What is that? Where? What are you talking about? Oh look! Suddenly ship out of nowhere. Whoa, where did that come from? Did it warp in or what? I don't think so, Captain. We did not detect any gravitational oscillation beforehand. I told you it was coming. You two were able to see it, Roddick? That's it. It's made of invisible matter. The entire ship? Captain, the unidentified ship that just appeared is hailing us. Open the channel. Uh, Waffle Shorts left. We come as emissaries from Lazonia. We have no desire to fight. Repeat. So, yes, PSX. You can. wants to sign an armistice with us. That is correct. We were not willing participants in the war against Earth. The rumors of a third party working in the shadows of Lazonia were true then. A third party? Yes, they had us at the points of their swords. Their civilization is highly advanced. They so were wait, the ones responsible they had for the plan, destruction had of their Easter, swords, half but they're advanced. Earlier. Why had the plan their... Never mind. I'm not trying to find logic. Ooh, pretty F and D. We have little idea what their goals are, but they have provided us with a wealth of new technology. Including the virus. I think I understand what's happening. Regarding the viral weapon that was dropped on planet Roke, we'd like. I'm afraid we cannot. We know that the virus has its origins in the Asmodeus, a creature that lived on planet Roke 300 years ago. ETA five minutes. That's the Archfiend. Okay. The monster that was defeated in the Demonic Wars. Gee, and suddenly part of SO4 makes sense. The stuff of legend, huh? Neither the vaccine nor the host exist in this universe any longer. I'm afraid there is little we can do about Planet Rogue. No. There's nothing to be done now. If there's no ready solution to the problem, we'll simply have to quarantine the planet Roke. What? You want to just watch our planet die? Roddick, calm down. The hell with that? 
We've done so much. Traveled all this way to help out our friends. And now what are we supposed to do? Who would have imagined they got the virus off Roke 300 years ago? Just <laughs> held it in storage all this time. Oh look! Spud! Potato dip just left! I didn't see him join! There's no chance of finding the host now. The Alliance has decided to seal off Roke forever. I'm so, so sorry. There is one chance. It's just extremely unlikely it will actually work. <laughs> You aren't actually suggesting we head for Planet Sticks, are you? I'll find a way to get us a ship. But, sir, there's still another option? Well, I hesitate to call it that. But if we use the time gate on Planet Sticks, there's a small chance. But, Captain, you know the risks. Please tell us. We've got to know. My voice is so whiny. Because I'm in the Star Ocean game. I didn't game. hear any deployment orders, Captain. Well, I have. Let us through. Yes, sir. <laughs> All set here. Ready to go when you are, Captain. I think what they're doing for them is they're just like mixing two random words together from a list of words. Right. Close the entry hatch. Are two people enough for this? Oh yeah. The computers do most of the work. Computer? Yeah. Um how to explain it. Basically, uh, they're these tools hey, kitty. that help people out with the uh, difficult parts of their jobs. Yes, computers anyway, help people the with the difficult parts of their jobs. But most of the time they make life difficult for people. <laughs> you do realize, Captain, that going to Planet Styx is all but guaranteeing ourselves a court-martial. Yep, worst case scenario, we'll all be in a labor camp for the rest of our lives, but too late to turn back now. All the bad luck in the world, I get stuck with you for a commanding officer. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I may have a ton of bad luck, but that doesn't mean I'm reluctant to visit Planet Styx. I'll follow wherever you go, Captain. Just try not to lead me astray, all right? <laughs> what is Planet Styx anyway? It's a planet, just like Earth or Roke. Excuse me. We stumbled upon it during an earlier deep space exploration mission. <laughs> they say that Planet Styx was home to a vastly advanced civilization long before we humans even made it into space. Actually, <laughs> a miserable pile of secrets. And that's where that time thing is? The Time Gate. We'll use it to visit Roke in the past. The past? Oh, so if we go back in time, we can retrieve the blood of Asmodeus. Then we can make the medicine we need, right? Hmm. 
In so many words, yes. But we still haven't fully unraveled how the Time Gate works. It's too dangerous to mess with, so it's been made strictly off-limits. We'll be within orbiting range of Planet Styx shortly. Greetings! So, Spud, did you know that a, something called Planet Styx is a planet? What? No way. <laughs> I didn't hear that. I was on the other side of the room. I was like, what? <laughs> I, was, I was always sort of half paying attention to the whole thing, and then all of a sudden, what's Planet Styx? It's a planet. What? No way. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. <laughs> Oh man! Seriously, that is like an amazing quote. 